Hey everyone, it's Minty. This is my grade 9 or A star GCSE art portfolio. I'll be showing you all the different pieces that I created during the course and I'll make sure to drop a few tips and tricks along the way. This is actually all part 2 of my portfolio, so this is mostly stuff that I made in year 11. If you want to see my sketchbook, which is from year 10, the first year, with the rest of my art, check out part 1, link below in the description when you finish watching. I'll be showing all my paintings and drawings in order of when I made them, so these first two are pretty small pieces which were mainly to get a few ideas together and also practice different materials. This one is just a simple pencil portrait of someone that I know, nothing too special, I wouldn't say it was quick to draw, but definitely a faster process than my paintings later on. You'll probably notice the size of my art get bigger and bigger throughout the video as I kind of put all my ideas together. Next we're adding a little bit of colour with a drawing of one of my friends in a 0.5 angle out in the dark on the street. I used alcohol markers and a couple of colouring pencils for this one. I originally wanted to focus on faces in this project and don't get me wrong I definitely did but I also decided to include backgrounds and architecture because I thought it would help boost my grade and I'm assuming it did seeing as I did well but who knows. Continuing on a theme of architecture I painted this building using watercolour paints and I outlined it with a black fine liner. I definitely had to trust the process on this one seeing as it's not my usual art style but it's actually one of my favourite pieces. It might be simple but I just love how neat it looks. Looking back I painted this so long ago now and I'm actually jealous of my old self that I was able to create this. I definitely have to try something like this again because it was actually very fun. By the way these are all observation drawings, these early on simple ones, basically just copying a picture and drawing it in different styles. This one is an eye, hopefully you were able to tell that just by looking at it. This one is another one of my favourite I just love the colour scheme which is literally just blue. I made it with alcohol markers and biro. I think I sketched it out in biro first and then the alcohol markers were kind of an afterthought and they definitely helped pull it together and add a lot of depth. Moving on to a more interesting assignment, this is the first of two artist copies, this is based on Efrain Mallow, I definitely didn't say that correctly so I'm sorry. Um, here we have an artist copy, so I straight up copied their work, um, all credit to the original of course but it was the task, and then I just have info about the artist themselves and a couple pictures and just my opinions on that art in general and how it was going to inspire me throughout the course. As you can tell, this artist copy is on a huge piece of paper and so is my other one so I had a lot of space to fill. Um, surprise, I just didn't fill all the space. I drew these silly little boxes just to fill it all in. But at the end of the day the layout is important. You want to kind of match the vibe of the artist as well as adding a lot of information. So I just went with a simple black and white theme because it is just sketches. The whole point of referencing other artists is to include their style in your work. Obviously not straight up copying when it comes to your own pieces but just using some inspiration. So from this I just took kind of the style of the lines and and I like the little structural lines in the background, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, we're already moving on to Christian Coop. This is my second and final artist page. It's again, very big and the artist copy is also very big. I was so impressed that I was able to emulate their style, mainly just because that's not the kind of thing that I do. I don't draw buildings very much so I liked that the style was slightly messy so there was a bit of room for mistakes and I was able to match the painting style pretty well so that was a lot of fun and I'm glad that I chose this artist because they definitely did inspire my next pieces. By the way I found both of these artists just from searching them up on google and looking at different artists in lists but our teacher did also give us some help. This is where the style inspiration starts to come in. You can really see that I referenced the first artist that I showed you with with all these lines and sketchy shading. I really, really, really love how it turned out. It's definitely looking a bit stiff compared to what the artist actually does themselves, but it's not my usual style, so there we go. Now we're starting to mix both of the inspirations together. As you can see, I've used watercolor on top of my pencil sketches, and I've also started to use some buildings. My idea was to kind of merge them into one and make everything flow together. I actually really like this one. It was my first, so it was just a practice, and all these pieces are going to build up 
up to my final piece. Spoiler alert, I hate how my final piece turns out, but we're not there yet. This is all about developing the vision. And as you can see, we're adding a little bit more interest with some texture and just more detail in general. We've got two faces instead of one. And I have these separate thicker pieces of paper, which I stuck on top and basically just continued the painting over the top of. I just realized I forgot to mention kind of an important detail. There is a theme for this entire project. The word was isolation. We had a choice of five themes and that's the one I chose because I thought I could relate it most to human faces because I knew I wanted to do that. And I kind of just related it to feeling isolated in school. You can't really tell, but you know, a meaning's a meaning and it's gonna get you more marks. Cover your eyes, it's my final piece coming up. It's a bit of a jump scare in my opinion, but I know a lot of you might think that it's really good. I don't think it's bad necessarily. It's just not my style. I don't necessarily like it. There's just too much going on. It's very, very busy. However, sometimes being busy is what gets you marks, including all this texture and detail. It adds a few points. Additionally, the paint actually was a different paint than I was used to, which is not very practical for your final piece. You kind of want to know what you're doing. And here I didn't, and it all got very extremely muddy, and I just don't like the vibes. However, it is what it is, and it's not actually that bad. I would say my main issue was just the paints being different and sort of messed up, but also I wasn't used to working for so long. The exam is eight hours, I think. I'm not really sure. It does span over two days, and I just got bored and kept adding on and adding on when I really shouldn't have. Sorry about that. That voiceover definitely overran a little bit. Here is some swatches of different styles of using black and white paint, and we've also got a blue minty version of this we had to do it at the start of the year notice there was one missing because it's been in a folder for so so long i really like how it looks but i did not enjoy doing it because i prefer a lot more detailed art i didn't really like this experimenting style but at the end of the day it does look good and again it did get me marks to show all this texture and different materials also you probably would have guessed this wasn't my choice it was a task most of the things that i do for my gcse in this video and the last video are set tasks but there's always a lot of freedom within them so yes we had to do these swatches but they didn't tell us exactly what to do in each box or what colors to use that was up to us and then then we had to do an ink painting. I think this is ink, which is something I'm definitely not used to. And this was also very early on. It's not part of the isolation theme or anything like that. It's just early on in the course experimenting with different materials. Our teacher pulled out a box full of I want to say rubbish, but I did use it for Strings, good. Strings, bits of old paper, and I stuck those on my eye. Not my eye, but the drawing, of course. Oh, okay, we're running out of time. This is an acrylic painting I also did near the start. It was my first proper portrait that I did in school like this. I had tested acrylic a little bit at home, but I've never been extremely good at it. But this is not too shabby for what my art style was like a few years ago. Anyways, now there's not much to say except thank you so much for making it this far into the video. Video. I hope it was fun to watch. You got a little bit inspired and maybe if you're doing art GCSE this is going to help you out and give you a sense of direction. Who knows? Make sure you check out the first part of this video with my sketchbook. I prefer everything in there a lot more because it's more recent so check that out or if not just head over to one of my other videos or leave a comment and I'll make sure to answer any questions that you guys have. Bye!